Rings of Power is an isometric role-playing video game developed by Naughty Dog and published by Electronic Arts for the Sega Genesis in 1991. The player takes on the role of a young sorcerer whose quest is to collect eleven rings and use them to remake a powerful weapon to defeat an evil god. Topic. Plot A great battle was fought between the Holy Nexus and the Demonic Void, who battled over the Rod of Creation, which created the world of Yushka Bao. Their battle was so immense, the rod broke into two pieces, and both gods fled with half. This then took the form of eleven rings. These rings were then entrusted to representatives of each of the six classes Sorcerer, Knight, Archer, Necromancer, Enchanter and Conjurer. All of the rings have been lost, and the story of the rings has turned to a legend. Master Thalmus has requested the presence of a young sorcerer named Buck, his most promising of students. Buck attempts the quest of finding the rings, restoring the rod of creation, and destroying the evil void once and for all. Gameplay Unlike most role-playing video games of the time, such as Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest, Rings of Power has a style that shared many similarities to PC role-playing games such as Dungeon Master, Wizardry, and A Bard's Tale. The game is very open-ended, contains hundreds of non-player characters with many different dialogue choices, and dozens of quests and random events. Practically every location is available from very early in the game. Topic. Development According to Naughty Dog, Rings of Power was originally designed for DOS and Amiga computers until publisher Electronic Arts decided at the time that Genesis games were more profitable. As a result, it became Naughty Dog's first console game. The game's sales helped fund the development of Naughty Dog's next project, Way of the Warrior. Vijay Pand, creator of the Folding at Home Distributed Computing Disease Research Project, was one of the game's programmers. Reception The game has received mixed reviews. Megatech magazine criticized the controls and difficulty. GamePro claimed it a must for video adventurers. Because the in-game map did not have any locations marked and there was no quest journal, many players criticized the game's difficulty as the goal of the game was achieved through careful attention to detail and constant exploration. <laughs>